what's up it you what's happening to you and empire world welcome and welcome back to yet another exciting episode here on this channel my good name is mo in case you're here for the very first time karibu sana nyumbani and to our old subbies we love you so much thank you for being the first people to support us and just in case you're watching this video and you're here to subscribe please do smash that like button smash the subscribe button so that this video and our other videos reach as many people as possible anyway today i'm taking you guys all the way to village market as you know the kids have closed schools and now there's not so much for them to do at home so we need to keep their energy levels down because if they don't play enough my god you're going to have a long day and yeah, we need some time to ourselves and also some time to do other things. So every once in a while, it's good to take them out. And Village Market came to our rescue this time round. So stick with us until the end of the video, guys. Na kama kawaida, kama ibada, let's skip to the good part. And as they see, here we come. Good looking, yeah. So this is the entrance. This is how it looks from outside. Uh, they normally charge 700 shillings per child and 200 for an adult if you want to go inside with them. But if your kids are well behaved or you're confident to leave them alone, you don't have to go inside with them. Uh, that's on weekdays. On weekends, you're going to pay 750 uh, per child and 250 per adult. But now that uh, most of the kids are on holidays, the prices have gone a bit high. So you're going to pay 1000 per child and 250 per adult. And this is for two hours. But don't worry, nobody will come to check on you. You can play as much as you want. After all, two hours is a long time. We will extend maybe for like 30 minutes. These are the washrooms for the boys. I took my boys there, so that's why you see me there. And those are the washrooms for the girls on the other side. And then this is like, I don't know what to call it, but it's so big and they wanted to go up there. And nobody cares, they can play there if they want. So this is under the sea for you. It's located on the fourth floor. So how to get there? Uh, after you get in using the main entrance, just walk inside the mall. And then you walk, uh, you turn to your right, walk towards the food courts, past the food courts. And then uh, the next building, you go up the stairs, up to the fourth floor. That's where you will find under the sea. So let's get inside and may the fun begin. But just before that, you need to leave your shoes out here. So you need to carry a pair of socks that if you didn't have any on, there are socks also sold at the reception, but trust me, they are very expensive. A pair will cost you around 900 bob. Or you can go across and buy at Karyako. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, but nobody says you can't go in without your socks. But just for, I think, hygiene purposes or just for you to feel comfortable, it's always good to have your socks and then you get your buns. The bands are the time that you check in and also on them they have the locker number where your items have been kept. So we are in guys and there was this cute band here. It was singing songs I think from Coco Melon or Disney Junior. I'm not so sure. I'm not so familiar with them but they're for those ki uh, little kids because my kids are grown by now. So let's take a tour. Let's take a tour before we start playing sure looks like it's under the sea with the walls and coral reef and yeah do you see coral reef uh yeah there there are seats where you can sit as a parent if you don't want to play or if your kids basically want to rest but let me show you the other side and then you will see why it for sure looks like it's under the sea there's a bit of animals. I think it's an octopus and some fish. And there are these trees that look like they're under the sea for sure. So let me take you around. So mostly we have slides. There are a lot of slides. We have these balls. So there are a lot of games for climbing. 
their houses what are they called three houses what they call that yeah i'll show you some so there are there are some places for the smaller kids like here the younger ones will have a lot of uh, fun playing there there are spaces where people can sit down you see the slides and there are quite a number there are these trees here there are these poles here where kids can try to like go up depending on the the age and also their swiftness i think their capability and the way they handle heights and then here there's just random trees random things that i don't know yeah i don't know what is that is it hyacinth i don't know what those things are but yeah you can see there's they're even shorter 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 very short uh slides is this an octopus yeah and it's actually as a slide also see so yeah there are these and the lighting is actually something else it's not dark i don't know that's a uh, a water body <laughs> i don't know what specifically that is yeah that's what i was talking about there's a slide there there's another biggest slide here and here the older children are the only ones who can play here because trust me there's a lot for you to go up there there's a lot of i don't know obstacles that you have to go through to just get up there there's another one here this one is not so tall so yeah I think most of the kids can play here because of the way you can go up it. But this one, this one is really complicated. There are these two houses all over. And then there's a, there's this place, trampoline. They can jump all over if they, if they wish to play there. Now, this is the challenge to get you to. It goes like all the way up to the ceiling to get you to that slide that has the octopus. And then there's this one, the smaller slide. And then here you see some of the obstacles that they have to go through just to get there yeah it's quite adventurous for children it's quite adventurous yeah i also tried the slide and i enjoyed it the problem is getting up there but as you can see it's quite big there there's also another slide on this other side that's the way up there so there's so much space for your kids to play. Nobody is going to get bored because I think one game is occupied. There's always something to play. There are balls to throw all over. Yeah, this is basically just a wall. They can run towards the other side or yeah, towards the other side. That's, um, but that's what I'm saying. This is the trampoline. They can jump all the way. And then there are a few other games that I've not showed you yet that I will show you later. But for now, I think it's time we let the kids play a bit. See, I'd say we let the kids play a bit. So let's see what they're up to.
We are waiting for Emma's mom. Okay. When she comes, we'll go. She? She's buying some socks. Some? Socks. Some? Socks. 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 She doesn't have socks to wear yet. But now where is she? She's out there buying socks. Hello. Hello. Hakim. I 
That was our day in a nutshell. We had so, so much fun. We were their parents. We were their cheerleaders. We were their playmates. Yeah, if you've noticed, there's about uh, five kids. My two friends brought their kids along. So, yeah, it was like a play date for our kids who have not met for quite some time. Others have never met at all. But yeah, kids are kids. Childhood friendships are created over two seconds of interaction. And this is exactly what happened here. I'm so happy for them. Anyway, before we went home, we went upstairs to see what was happening. There are no games here, no kids games here. Just adults playing golf. So if you're a lover of golf, maybe you can yeah, drop by and see how much fun you're going to have. I still don't know anything about golf. I'm waiting to be rich first. Ha! After this, we got something to eat, then headed home afterwards. Thank you so much for being with us up to this point. We are on to the next video. But until then, peace and we are out. Bye!